So I'm here with uh, Greg from Rev Robotics. What are we gonna see today? No, so Rev builds educational hardware for robotics. And right. so our big uh, partner nonprofit that we support is called FIRST, and it just so happens that there is a FIRST Robotics Regional happening here in Shenzhen, right in front of us. So we're awesome. on, a, on a down day and we figured, hey, go check it out. And so we're gonna see the uh, best and brightest minds of Southern China and how they play the game. Each team also has a lower scale called a switch, yep. and the switch kind of works the same way. If you own your switch, it's one point per second. If you don't own your switch, it's nothing. So the scale is either red or blue, yep. or nobody, and the switch is just you or nobody. Got it. And then you're running around for two minutes, about two minutes, picking up these cubes and trying to place them, and so you're racing the clock to score as many points as you possibly can. So each team has a human player, and so a robot can go up to that hole in the wall, and then the human player can put one of the cubes and give it to a robot. Oh, so, okay. So you can get cubes from the field, or cubes from your human player, or you can steal cubes from the other team. Yeah, this is super cool. So essentially, uh, the match is broken down into three different time sections. So there's 15 seconds of autonomous, and that's when the robot is controlling itself. So the programmers will type up code that will control the robot. Um, by itself, and then for the next uh, two minutes and 15 seconds, it's controlled by uh, two drivers. One is an operator, one's doing things that aren't the wheels, and then the other one is solely focused on driving the robot. In that section, people are using like Xbox and con controllers and things like that. And then in the last um, 30 seconds, you have the option to do other things like making the robot climb. Each team's given like a 10 foot by 10 foot space to work on their robots, yeah. and they're all clustered together in this area, and they all help each other out. It's a collaborative area where everybody's working on their robots and trying to get everything going for the out, where they're out there on the competition field. Yeah, awesome. So this is like the pits, but this it's is not the, pits. the secretive pits. It's so not secretive. It's collaborative. It's, it's very collaborative, each other pits. open pits. Yeah. Awesome. So if you check out like these motor controllers here, the Spark motor controller, yeah. this is something we make. So it's really cool to see the stuff that we make like having an impact like all over the world. really get out of this is what they spend in the first uh, six weeks of the build season is they learn how to apply the things they learn in math to actual real world um, uh, applications. Yeah, it makes such a difference when you can apply something that you're learning in an abstract way. Absolutely. So like, oh, I can actually use that. Now. That's right. Yep. So, and that makes it stick in your head better. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. What do you like most about it? The competition. The team work. The team work. Everything. Yeah. Everything. That's really cool. Yeah. Amazing. Well, this is the second final round. It's potentially the last final, and both teams have had breakdowns, so it's everybody's pretty excited and pretty stressed out. 
Uh, I can't believe how exciting this is. I, I didn't really know what to expect and uh, this is pretty awesome. Yeah, this oh. was actually way more fun than I thought it was gonna be. I didn't really know what to expect, and this is amazing. Yeah, well, you're welcome. This is like what we do all the time, and it's, it's a blast. I can see why you're so into it. You know, to be honest, I'm really sad I, they didn't have this when I was a kid. I was involved with this in high school. You could have been. This is now almost 25 years old. Regardless, I wish I could do this now. But you can. First teams are mentored by technical people who volunteer their time and come in. So anybody around the world, there are first teams in almost every country around the world. I could come and mentor one of these teams and help build their robots. Yes, yeah, so you can look up your local schools, you can look up the local contacts, and then you can totally get involved. That would be super fun. Yeah, you should totally do it. So where should people go if they want to get involved? Uh, Firstinspires.org. Thank you so much, Greg. This All was right. a total blast. This is Scotty from strange parts. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button down below and stay tuned for more adventures. I'll see you guys next time.